the pv cell or the solar cell if it has to be useful so that it can be made use of in power applications need to be enhanced in power which means the voltage has to be higher much higher than 0.6 volts the current has to be higher so for this the pv cell many pv cells need to be connected in series or parallel or a combination of both to arrive at a module now can this be done can we connect pv cells in series directly can we connect pv cells in parallel directly what happens if one set of pv cell have different characteristics with respect to another set this is likely to happen uh, due to shading if there is a shade or a shadow that falls on a part of the module then some of the uh, pv cells will have less insulation compared to uh, other parts of the module so under such condition uh, what happens to the resultant characteristics iv characteristics or are these non identical cells being connected in series or parallel having detrimental effect on the overall module or individual cell can we take any protective measures these are some of the issues that we need to discuss understand study and solve so this is what we will be uh, discussing uh, right now so first let us take up uh, connecting cells in series so uh, connecting cells in series let us take just two cells and see how we go about connecting them in series so we know that a pv cell is represented in this fashion now you take cell 1 now take another cell cell 2 now these two cells if we are to connect them in series what we would do is connect these two terminals so this is plus minus for the first pv cell this is plus and minus for the second pv cell and of course you would connect an external load and i will just represent it as a simple a resistive load for now it could be any load which is compatible here to the pv cell so we would connect the load like this and we are interested in the terminal characteristics the resultant terminal characteristics now let us say this is the resultant uh, terminal voltage vt and this is the resultant terminal current it and i'll call this one as t and let us say with respect to this so uh, we have the individual cell having i'll say vt1 and the second cell having vt2 and when you connect it in series you observe that the current of both the cells will have to be the same and they have to be it so the constraints here are that it1 equals it2 which is equal to it because they are connected in series now what is it1 and it2 so i will say that this is it2 and i will call this one as it1 so as far as the currents are concerned they being in series it1 is equal to it2 is equal to it and with respect to the voltage vt1 plus vt2 is equal to vt 
Now these two are the constraints that get applied because of making that connection in between here. So this is a series connection of two PV cells. Let us now try to replace these um, block PV cell symbols with uh, an approximate model of the PV cell here so that we understand the play of currents and uh, voltages uh, much more clearly. This is a PV cell model. This is Vt, the terminal voltage. This is IT, the current that would flow through the terminal if there is a load connected across the terminal. RS is the series resistance and RSH is the shunt impedance or the shunt non-ideality. Without loss of generality, we can remove these two non-idealities so that understanding the series and paralleling effect becomes much easier and therefore let us first try to remove these items. This now becomes a um, more idealized model of the PV cell. Let us substitute this model of the PV cell into the PV cell symbolic block which we have used and try to understand the uh, series and the parallel paralleling effect of the PV cell. Now in this series circuit, let us replace these PV cell symbols with the ideal PV cell model. Replacing the symbol with this model, you see that the PV cell one has been replaced and the circuit becomes like this. Now if we replace PV cell 2 also with the model, idealized model, we have the circuit like this, both the symbols being replaced by the idealized models. Now it will be much more easier to understand this series connection with this uh, circuit configuration. Let us see how the two series cells work and what will be the resultant IV characteristic of these two series cells. Now this is the circuit that we just now uh, discussed and we are interested in seeing the I versus VT characteristic. For this let us draw the X and Y axis. The X axis is the voltage axis or the VT. It is representing the terminal voltage across the combined system. The Y axis is the current axis. So this IV axis represent the terminal current and the terminal voltage. Now let us have a characteristic like this which is having VOC1 and ISC1 representing PV cell 1. Now another characteristic which is superimposed on the PV cell 1 characteristic is the PV cell 2 characteristic. PV cell 2 characteristic is taken identical to that of PV cell 1 characteristic which is having same VOC1 and VOC2 and uh, the ISC2 is same as ISC1. Now these two cell characteristic PV cell 1 and PV cell 2 characteristic are to be combined to obtain the characteristic of the combined combination. Now let us say that this is one operating point of the combined system. And this is obtained by the constraint, the voltage of the combination is equal to the sum of the voltages of each individual, that is PV cell 1 voltage plus PV cell 2 voltage. So if you take the X axis, there is an operating point VOC1 and VOC2, add it up and you will get this operating point. Likewise, another operating point is as the current flowing through both the cells is the same, this would be the one at the arrow point is another operating point. So you have two operating points. In a simplistic manner, let us just 
combine these two operating points into the characteristic as shown here. So this would be the green portion would be the combined characteristic of the uh, two PV cells in series. Now you should note that this is uh, a trivial uh, solution. There are many problems. The uh, two PV cells will not have identical characteristic, will never have identi identical characteristic and we need to see what happens in such cases.